When I arrived on campus, that was the year that the college did away with mandatory chapel. Uh, they still had voluntary chapel every day. Uh, they had a slot carved out of the schedule. I think it was about 10 o'clock. It was right after second period for this voluntary chapel. Uh, some people went. Most people went to the snack bar, the, what's now the Maytag Center, although it was configured quite a bit differently than it is now. And students and faculty would sit around for that 20-minute period and discuss politics and philosophy and ideas. That happened five days a week, um, every day that school was in session. It was a wonderful, wonderful time. During one of those chapels, um, the college took a risk. My department chair, Dan Gilmore, whom I mentioned before, um, was a bass player. And the person at that time, a fellow named Bill Thompson, who was a uh, well, I'm not sure quite what he was. He probably was our, our, our development guy and our PR guy and several other roles, was a wonderful jazz pianist. Well, Dan and Bill got together and did a jazz chapel. They got up on the stage at chapel in Doustra and they played jazz for 20 minutes. It was a wonderful event. A, a, a voluntary chapel was never more um, uh, strongly attended than on that particular day, it was packed. Somehow the Des Moines Register got hold of the Jazz Chapel at Central College and splashed it on the front page of what we would now think of as the Metro section. And uh, our poor president uh, got some flack from constituents because we did a Jazz Chapel, which was something we ought to be doing more of.